and welcome to Portimao, where we're doing the Pit Stop Challenge with the ComTU team. We have got Louis Sedan and Tom Coronel for round one. The fastest man to take the wheel off and put the new one on is the winner. Gentlemen, get yourselves ready. Three, two, one. I've never lost one, so challenge me more. Fantastic. Well, now we still need you again for round two, so you're going to play the winner of the next round. Congratulations, Tom. Congratulations, Lewis. Thank you very much. And now let's get set up with our next two drivers. Right, dramatic first round, and now it's time for round two. We've got Franco Girolami, and alongside him, Victor Davidovsky. Gentlemen, for your chance to play Tom Coronel. Three, two, one, go! Oh, look at this, Franco, like a beast, getting these nuts off. Franco's our early leader, gets the wheel on. Can he mount it straight away? We'll find out in a few moments' time. Oh, there we go, Victor's getting it off as well. So it's as close as you can possibly be at this stage in the competition. Oh, we've got a wild nut. We've got a wild nut, no outside help required. The pressure is mounting. These racing drivers don't know about pressure till they see these competitions. Franco recovers his loose nut, still one more to go. Quick dive to get it, can Victor catch up? Can he use his advantage? Victor Davidovsky is our winner! Congratulations! <laughs> that was gentlemen. Official adjudicator Tom Coronel stops in to make sure everything is above board. Gentlemen, very nice indeed. Victor, congratulations. Thank you. That uh, I feel good to get one over on your teammate. Yes, I feel good. So there's, is there a job in mechanics rather than driving for you in your future? Uh, yes, I have more experience than my <laughs> teammate and I win. And Franco, for you, you lost that wheel nut. Is that where it all went wrong? Uh, well, well, I did some mistake, but in the last sector, Victor <laughs> was farther than me. But anyway, congratulations, Victor. Now we will see the two teammates. Fantastic stuff. And now it's time for the uh, quarterfinals before we play our mechanic, Tom Coronel, and Victor Davidovsky. Right then, here we go. For the last time, our two drivers are facing off against each other. Gentlemen, prepare your guns in three, two, one, go. Remember, winner of this one plays the mechanic at Contiu Racing, so it is all to play for the pride of the racing drivers. Tom Coronel, winner in round one, off to a great start. Victor Davidovsky, winner of round two, first driver with the tyre off. Very gentle, putting it down on the floor. Coronel, rapid to get it mounted, but he's struggling a little bit. There we go, Coronel and Davidovsky now have their wheels mounted on the car. It's a case of who can lock it up and tighten it up quick enough to be our quarter final winner. Sounds of the guns, two drivers. Oh! First mistake of the day. <laughs> Tom Coronel, congratulations. Thank you very much. What's the price? We got some uh, prize money? Hey, you got to beat your mechanic, yeah. That's the hard part, surely. I'm a driver, sorry guys. I leave that over to the professionals. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant stuff, well done, Tom. Victor. Congratulations, man. Not quite enough to beat the, uh, the man in yellow on his own car. 
home advantage, surely? Well, definitely Coronel have uh, more experience. You sound out of breath. Was that hard work? Uh, yes, he hard work. <laughs> in Dakar, in the Dakar, uh, we have to change a lot of tyres, so, you know, and then we practice a little bit. Well, we've got Dakar weather, so I suppose it's all good. Ish. Right, so now we have our driver winner, and it's time for the final, where we're going to play the mechanic, which will be very interesting indeed. Right then, here we go. It is the final time. Tom Coronel versus Drew Chief. That was a lot closer, actually, quite a bit than I thought that was going to be. Did you, uh, were you starting to get a little bit, bit nervous when you could hear Tom beavering away? Well, I know that he's fast from Dakar. He knows this, how to change a wheel. He is not a bad mechanic, I think. <laughs> and Tom, not a bad performance for someone that doesn't do this every day. Uh, feel, feel happy with that? I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that I'm the driver and he's my mechanic. He's my chief mechanic already for three years on the car. And uh, because of this, he can stay. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, great sport for joining us. Really appreciated that. A lot of fun. And uh, don't forget to stay tuned to uh, TCR Europe 2022 to see how these guys get on over the course of the season.